welcome to La Batalla de Vino. Otto, a town in the heart of Spain's famed Rioja wine region. Here, among the vineyards and the picturesque streets, there's a festival that's much more than just wine tasting. It's a festival where you actually don't want to sip the wine at all. You'd rather spray it. So with each battle, you need to have your ammunition. And this is a, a euro, basically, for a box of wine. Fill up our water guns with this, and it might even just bring one container just to dump on somebody. One day a year, this sleepy Spanish town turns into a battleground of Bacchanalian proportions. But first, you have to survive the night before. It's 7.30 in the morning. Some might say, I drank too much last night or yesterday. It was a rough night. I would agree with them, but I have to go to the battle of wine. Apparently, wine doesn't stay well in this gun so I need to fill more up this is the ammunition we have to take as we slowly make our way to the battle When I say it was a rough night, I think I'm underestimating how bad it was. It was a bad night. Why am I up this early? Because this has been a bucket list goal for like 12 years. And I'm going to tell you, my body says I should have done it 12 years ago. <laughs> because it's, it's really hurting. <laughs> This, this body, at this age, is not ready for this. <laughs> what a difference a few hours makes, huh? The masses of people are gone, starting their walk and journey up to the battle. Let's talk about the fit. I already stained from last night. For the battle of wine, you have to wear all white, except for the scarf. It's red. And then we're wearing goggles to protect our eyes from the vinegar of wine that you see that we're going to be dunking on each other. Ah. And I'm hurting. Oof. Money. It's 8 a.m. Are we going to make it? <laughs> We're going to miss the battle. Maybe. <laughs> wow, they like it clean smells. this street with it bleach. Green. Yes. 
Good for them. And see, oh, this, wow. I'm impressed. All right, I gotta get the address. So it's like we're going to the. Um, they fulfill their butter. Yeah, we're going to like the wineries. Okay. But we're gonna keep walking past it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Do think it. Yeah. So now it's officially 8 a.m. I'm not sure in my mind. Uh -huh. That I imagined going to the Battle of Wine, like, feeling like this. <laughs> it was not in the plan. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really going to say that it was necessarily what I expected it to be. <laughs> and the bleach smell does not help me. I'm a little bit of gagging a little bit. Oh, they're really good at cleaning. I'm highly impressed, folks. The Battle of Wine is just about spraying wine on each other, like the mural you just saw. I contend the real battle is getting up early enough to start the six kilometer walk up to the hillside, hungover. Like that guy obviously is too. Probably drunk. Oh, cool, the thing. Globo, hot air balloon. Um, I feel I've won, I've won the biggest battle so far, which is getting up on time-ish. It's about an hour behind schedule. I wanted to be on the road walking an hour ago. Wasn't gonna be possible though. Some people, I feel like they've already participated in the battle. <laughs> so, you can either walk six kilometers that way, or you can get on a free bus. Uh, we chose the bus. The true wine warriors didn't go to sleep. Hey! Como fue? Como fue? Yeah. Vaya. Yeah. Como es. And they've been battling since around dawn. <laughs> he went to give, he went to scream. He did that. He's like, oh, se salvo. <laughs> so I just asked him how it was. And then he wanted to squirt us with the gun. Yeah. To show us how oh, it was. Oh, my goodness. At this point of the morning, if what you're wearing is still white, first, shame on you. And secondly, you might as well be wearing a bullseye. At least it doesn't take long to catch up with the locals. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right. Wish us luck. Corre, corre. Oi. En esta peregrina. Did I
<laughs> one of the funnest things I've ever done is like, we're just starting. <laughs> so they call this La Batalla de Vino, the Battle of Wine. But there's really no losers in this battle. Everybody wins. This is a winning battle for everyone. We all got soaked. And if you walk and you're completely purple, walking away from here, you won. Red Stained Revelry. Like every other holiday in Spain, it's tied to a religious day, El Dia de San Pedro. But this wine warfare is a tradition dating back to around the 6th century. A dispute with a neighboring village. Since the 1960s, it's a massive party. My kind of pilgrimage. You're going to get sticky. You're going to get stained. Just wear clothes you don't mind sacrificing to Bacchus, the god of wine. 